You have the Motorola. This is the Moto G Power 5G from 2023. This is the One 5G Ace. You want to know if you can make your G Power run faster. Uh, the answer is yes. I'm going to show you an easy way to clear out some memory and possibly make it run faster. And then I'm going to show you how to get inside develop developer options and you and then we'll compare it to the One 5G Ace. You'll see with your own eyes that the G Power runs faster. All right, so let's get into it. First thing you want to do is scroll to apps and you have Google apps and you have Google files. It immediately asks you to clean out some junk files. Hit clean, temporary clean the file. Yeah, we, we, of course. It wasn't very much because I've just reset this phone. But that's one way. If you use your phone a lot, you might have a lot of temporary files. Clean those, up, clean those up and you'll your phone possibly will run faster. All right, here's the next thing we're going to do. This getting into developer options is going to feel intimidating because we're getting into the, the meat of the software. So we'll read the warning together and then you decide if you want to continue. All right, to do that, we're going to get into settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to about phone and then we're going to look for something called build number. Build number. And all we're going to do is touch it seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. You should have that. You are now a developer. If you don't get that message, you haven't touched it enough times or it's already on. So now we're going to back up one. We're going to go to system and now developer options is enabled. Now we can touch it. Now let's re let's turn it off. Turn it back on so we can read it. Allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. Okay, so we go over that warning so that don't accidentally touch anything because we're going to scroll way down here. Okay, we're going to scroll. We're looking for a heading. This heading is called networking. We're looking for the heading called drawing. This one's input. This one's drawing. So inside drawing, we're going to look at these three options. Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale. We're, all we're going to do to change them is touch them. Some people say put it on 0.5. Definitely don't put it a bigger number because your phone's going to be super slow. I like to turn them off. So keep in mind that when if you don't like it, the, the default is 1. So we can come back in later and we'll change it back. But for now we're going to turn them all off, off and off. And then all I'm going to do is push home. And now let's compare phones. All I'm going to do is bring up the dialer. Bloop. See how that blinks on? Now I'm going to close the dialer. See how that blinks off? Let's do it one more time so you can see. Blinks on. Blinks off. And this one has the animation. That's why we turn off the animations. Let's bring up Messenger. Close Messenger. All right, let's try camera. Camera. Close cam. Not now. Close camera. Open camera. Close camera. You can see with your own eyes there's a difference. So if you're someone, you're on the phone, you send a message, upload a video, send a text back to research, <clears throat> you can see with your own eyes this guy is quicker, snappier, faster. All right, if you make those changes and you like it, leave a comment that you like it. All right, stick around now if you want to see how to change it back in case you don't like it. Let's go back into settings. Touch settings. Scroll all the way down. Remember, we don't have to go to about phone this time. Only system, the developer options are already on. All right, without touching anything else, networking, input, and then drawing, input. Now there's drawing. All right, now to turn them back to 1x default, Touch it once, 1x. Touch it once, 1x. And the last one, animator duration scale, 1x. Now, to be safe, if you don't want to accidentally change some things in your phone that make, makes your phone or apps misbehave, let's turn developer options off. Now, what happens when you go back into system, the developer options are all the way off. You have to go back to this build number and touch it again to turn those developer options on again. All right, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.